Hey, what's going on guys? It's OmniArc, and today I'm going to bring you a topic, something that is not really Call of Duty related, but uh, something that I've been living through in real life, and that is weight loss. Something that I've been uh, trying to do the past uh, approximately a week, a week actually, a little more than a week, um, but you know, about a week ago, here, here, about two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I needed pants. I went to the store and I was trying on pants. I went to Gap. They had a good deal, good sale on some khakis. And I was trying them on and the size that I usually get didn't fit. And I was like, that's really weird. The, si the pants that I'm wearing right now are the size. How come these don't fit even though they're the same size? So I was like, alright, whatever. Maybe it's just Gap. Maybe it's just Gap's pants. You know, maybe uh, maybe they just they're cut differently. So I go to American Eagle. And I'm like, I know these are gonna fit. All my pants come from American Eagle, so I know that these are. You know, I've been buying these forever. All the same size every every time. You know, this, this is gonna be perfect. So I try them on. Uh, they didn't have a good sale, but I try them on, and they didn't fit. And I was like, what the fuck? What what is going on here? Did I really gain that much weight? So. I ended up not buying pants because I was like, "There's no way. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna buy pants uh, that don't fit. And if I do buy pants that are that are bigger, a size up, uh, I'm gonna be pissed because I'm gonna have to lose weight. You know, if I go up a pant size, you know, I haven't gone up a pant size since like ninth grade, and I'm 20. So, uh, you know, it, it just it didn't. It, I've never done that before. I've never experienced going up a pant size. Like, that's just a foreign feeling to me. So. I didn't buy pants, and I was like, I gotta lose weight now, like, that's just what's gonna happen next, like, before I buy pants again, I have to lose weight, that way I can continue to buy the same pair, uh, so I, the, well, I think, like, a few days went, a few days went by, I went to Target, and I bought a scale, because I wanted a brand new scale, you know, because my girlfriend has a scale at her house, I use that one, and it tells me one weight, and then my best friend has a scale, I hop on his, tells me another weight, and then he has a second scale downstairs in his gym, I try that one, and it's a third different weight, and then I try the one uh, at my house, and that's another weight, so I just want, I wanted my own scale, that way, every time I weigh myself, it's consistent, so I go to Target, I buy myself a scale, and I weigh myself. 212.2 pounds and I was like holy shit that's the most that I've ever weighed I've never weighed more than that in my life um, so I basically was at the most that I've ever weighed and I, I couldn't figure out why I was like you know my I still eat pretty much the same like I, I don't I haven't been eating more recently you know I couldn't really figure out why uh, I started gaining all this weight like I don't understand uh, but either way either way it happened you know shit happens I must have just been eating something additional, you know. It just didn't come out. Of, it didn't come out of nowhere. It wasn't magic. So I obviously gained weight. So a few days go by, and I, you know, for for Christmas I got a Ninja Blender, and you know I occasionally make smoothies. If you saw my day in the life, you know that. Um, so I found a book with like ten different smoothies, one or one a day, and that's pretty much all you eat for the day. But it has all the vital nutrients and everything, but really super low calorie. Uh, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this. And I did it for about four days, and then I went, and then I wasn't home for the weekend, so I just ate super healthy instead of eating smoothies, and then I'm still currently eating healthy as we speak. And since then, I've lost approximately eight pounds in a week. So that's crazy. Um, you know, it, it's not that much, but considering that I lost eight pounds in one week, that's really, really, that's a lot. So I know a lot of people say like, oh, you know, it's healthy to lose one or two pounds a week. Uh, but I was like, no, like I need to lose more right off the gate, like right out the gate. So I know that, you know, I'm on the right track. And so I really went hard. Um, I, I cut cal I had like between 800 and 1200 calories a day for like four days straight while I was doing the smoothie thing. And that's borderline unhealthy like I really 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 don't recommend anybody watching do that unless you consult your doctor or something uh, but I took the risk and I did it anyway and uh, I felt like shit I was cranky I was tired I wasn't getting enough sleep I was hungry like the whole time uh, and I was trying to space my my smoothies out so that way I wouldn't be you know hungry before bed or whatever or I wouldn't be hungry like mid work you know so I'd, I would kind of do it that way and uh, I ended up losing about eight pounds in a week, so that's that's really good. I mean, that's like a pound a day. That's more than a pound a day. Um, and I'm currently still trying to lose weight. I'm not really drinking any smoothies at right now because I've just been really busy, and it, like it takes a lot. It's actually honestly, it's really expensive to make smoothies all day. Um, like really expensive. Like those five days cost me like thirty-five dollars in smoothie stuff. So crazy expensive. Um, 
and also I just it takes a lot of preparation cutting apples and and you know pretty much preparing it for the day and blending up enough for the whole day and then separating it and bringing it in different cups and, and making sure one cup so refrigerated and everything so I just I don't, I don't have time for that um, so I've just been trying to eat really really healthy and I'm trying to keep my calories below like 1500 a day and I've been keeping track of you know because I know calorie counting isn't like the best way to do it but it is like the simplest way and it's the easiest way to keep track of what I'm eating and as long as I know what I'm eating is good for me uh, then I don't really you know worry too much about like the micronutrients you know vitamin A, B, D, E all that stuff um, plus like my macros and the amount of fats that I'm getting and uh, you know proteins and stuff so anyway the point of this video is if you guys want to lose weight just go for it like seriously I know a lot of people myself included um, it's just it doesn't make sense like why would you like how could you possibly lose weight like eating is amazing eating tastes so good e eating makes me feel good I fucking love cookies like all these things <laughs> cookies donuts bagels Chinese food pizza everything that's dude I love food so much and like it's so hard to diet I want ice cream right now more than ever um, but you know a few things to keep in mind one set goals set specific goals don't just be like I'm gonna eat healthy now because then you're gonna cheat and you're not gonna do it right and you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna cheat more frequently than you think and uh, it's not gonna be good and then you're gonna fall off and not see results and then you're really not gonna do it second um, you want to just make sure for the first few days like you know to try and get rid of those cravings like the cravings that you have for like donuts and stuff um, what I did is obviously you're gonna be miserable 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 bleh, miserable for a few days um, no matter what if you're really gonna do it right because nothing that you want comes easy um, and you know I'm still struggling with you know obviously this is still an ongoing thing it's still recent I'm, I'm talking like I lost all this weight but I really didn't uh, still this is just like an experience I'm going through right now that I just wanted to share the story but um, try and eat mainly fruits and vegetables like for the first few days like try and not have like dairy cheese breads like all like processed sugar process anything you know just try and eat like plain vegetables plain fruits and if you have to eat something else like I did you know, for a few days fish is really lean meats um, and really really you know small things uh, that like if you're gonna have like carbs or whatever um, like brown rices and maybe a little bit of whole wheat bread uh, so, stuff like that um, but really try and keep it to like fruits and vegetables for like the first few days and that'll really uh, show you some quicker results than I think uh, you know just cutting calories would uh, without limiting the you know bad stuff out of your diet because you know you could just eat McDonald's and just, you know, eat one meal at McDonald's every day and you're still only going to eat like 1,200 calories a day, which isn't a lot, but it's going to be complete fat garbage for you, so it's not going to be good in the long run anyway. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to make this video talking about what I've been going through real quickly with the past week or week and a half or whatever, um, just bringing that little story about my weight gain. I hope you guys will wish me luck. If you do, drop a comment down below telling me, hey, good luck, Omniarch. Uh, with your weight loss or whatever and uh, if you guys could encourage me that'd be awesome because that's another big thing if you have encouragement and support it makes it a little bit easier to lose weight so you know if you guys are gonna try and lose weight let me know in the comments below and I will totally help you if I can uh, and that's about it guys so if you enjoyed please drop a like on the video that would really 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 help my channel out a ton subscribe to my channel if you're new around here share the video on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter if you know someone else struggling to lose weight and that's a bit it guys so thanks for watching on New York, out, and peace.